Hey guys, this is Ace Patrick Cool, Ace number one, Bachelor because I'm single, cool because I am. Number two single YouTuber in the Philippines, lifestyles of a single guy, single and free is the way to be, aka Professor Ace here. Welcome to class. We are going to go over bar girl categories. I'm here in Angeles City, Philippines, entertainment district. Let's go over this chart. We're going to have some fun. Today's class. All right, we have the hot scale. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, all the way down to 1. You guys should know what the hot scale is. Now, I break down bar girls into three categories. Baby dolls are going to be 18 to 24 years old. Barbie dolls, we'll put it 25 to 29 years old. Then you got the experienced veteran bar girls, 30 to 39 plus year old. And these girls can get well into their 40s and still be working in the bar business. This category, we got cherry girls, lady drinks, bar finds, short time, long time, sneak outs, freelancers, tip money. All right, the next category, boom, boom. Third category, kids and family. Party, party, travel, house, investment, future, social media, money. We'll just start with category number one. Now, baby dolls in this age group, you know, they're going to be the tens, nines, and eights. They're going to be young, sexy, beautiful. Filipina girls working in the bar, dancers, spotlight dancers, models, cultural dancers, performers. They wear outfits, uniforms. They put on shows. These girls have flat stomachs and perky this and bubble that and nice this and lovely that. You're going to find the tens, nines, and eights in the baby doll category. Now, some of these girls could be posed as cherry girls in the bars. I go bar hopping on Walking Street, Entertainment Area, even Fields Avenue and Perimeter Road. Koreatown. There's like four different areas of the entertainment district in the Angeles City area. Some of these bars could have Cherry girls working in the bar on stage. They're going to be young. These girls are going to get lady drinks. You know, they're going to get a lot of lady drinks, especially if you're an attractive, young, sexy Filipina. You're going to get bar find. Short time, long time. A lot of these girls will do short time. That way they can go back to the bar and possibly get a second bar fine short time i'm noticing a trend a lot of the filipino girls prefer short time over long time you're gonna get sneak out girls if you exchange information with these girls social media whatsapp phone number facebook messenger these girls can come over to your house apartment condo room hotel before work, after work, short time. Baby dolls, once they're in the business for a couple years, you know, they can work three months in a bar, go back to the province for three months. If they're in good with the mama san and the bar and the, the managers, supervisors, they can bounce back and forth. A lot of these girls will go from the bar to becoming a freelancer. Once they work in the bar for a couple months and they're going to get their customers, clients, guests, sponsors, they're going to build up their Rolodex of foreigners and Westerners and guys from all over the world. And they don't have to work at a bar for eight or nine hours standing on stage, listening to loud music and putting up with all the bar stuff when they can just do short time sneak out or they become freelancers. Why work in the bar when you have 12 different 
guys you can chat with every single day and say, hey, what are you doing? Can I come over? Can I see you? When can we see each other again? Let's do short time. So you're going to find that in the baby doll category. Barbie dolls, 25 to 29 years old, you know, they're going to be a little bit older. Their body is not going to be as tight as it once was. There are still some beautiful, young, sexy Filipino girls in the 765 category. Now, some of these girls are going to have babies. Zero babies, maybe one baby here. They can have one to two. They're starting to make babies. And you're not going to find a cherry girl in this category. <laughs> but you're going to find girls that are going to work in the bar for a few months and then they build up their clientele of customers and they're going to become freelancers. A lot of these girls, because they have babies and family, they're going to stay at home and tend to their kids and tend to the house more and they're just going to contact their clients or guests for short time so they freelance themselves. Now, if they're list is getting low well then they can go back to the bar for three months and build back up their, their list experience vest 3039 you're not gonna find cherry girls <laughs> lady drinks are gonna become less and less the the baby dolls are gonna get lady drinks barbie dolls are gonna get lady drinks these experience vets waitresses hostesses there's still girls dancing on stage they're going to have boyfriends, sponsors, they're going to have kids, family. Their bodies are not all that here, but the lady drinks are going to be less and less. They, they can still get lady drinks. They might have to work a little extra hard. Maybe they want to give you a massage. They're going to work harder for the lady drinks. They're going to be possibly more aggressive, but these girls... They're older, they're gonna be in the four, three years ago. They were hot on the hot scale and now they're starting to slip. All right, let's go over the next category. Now, tip money, same thing. There's a lot of high rollers, big ballers, big spenders. There's guys that make it rain in the bars and clubs and disco. Sometimes the guys just hand over 100 peso, 500 peso. Some bars, customers will give you a thousand pesos just to do this, that, and the other. But I would say these girls can make good tip money. The Barbie dolls can make good tip money. And same, same thing, these girls might not get as much tip money, but they're still getting tip money. All right, next category, boom, boom. You know, you got the cherry girls. You know, there's some beautiful, young, sexy, baby doll Filipina girls. 18, 19, 20 years old. They are phenomenal in the bedroom. They do everything, anything, and they know how to satisfy a man. And they are awesome. Wonderful. Now, once in a while, you might get a baby doll that's a starfish. She's still learning. Maybe she hasn't had enough clients, customers, guests. So she might be in the learning stages. Barbie doll category for Boom Boom. These girls are seven, sixes, and fives on the hot scale, but they have already gone through this stage. You know, they've had Filipino boyfriends. They had plenty of foreigners and Westerners from all over the world. White, black, Korean, Japanese, Chinese, Australian, UK, American, Canada. The list just goes on and on. Filipino girls, they should know what the heck they're doing when it comes to boom boom. All right, kids, family, baby dolls. A lot of these girls could be 18, 19 years old and they do have a baby. There is a lot of single mothers on stage. There's a reason why they're working in the bar business. They are the sole breadwinner of their family. They're taking care of their babies, taking care of their kids. They're sending money home to auntie 
for their grandmother, mother, diapers, clothing, rice, milk, school supplies. But you're going to find girls taking care of their kids and family. Now, Barbie dolls, they're going to have two kids, three kids. Experience vets. A lot of these girls are going to have kids. Once in a while, you will meet a girl. Never been married. No kids. All right, party, party. These baby dolls... They like to party party. They're young. It's almost like their first time going away to college. First time they're away from their mother and father, their family. They come from the province. Many of these girls come from Samar. They travel. They're working in Manila, Makati, Angeles City. Making the most money they've ever made in their life in this category. But they like to party party smoke, vape, drink. They like to go to the after hour clubs, the discos. They're spending money on makeup, hair, manicure, pedicure, bags, purses, jewelry, clothing, shoes. They're, they're making good money, but they're party, 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 clubs, discos, drinking, alcohol, you know, they could be loaning other girls money, but they're just throwing their money around because they're young. Barbie dolls, they're starting to wise up a little bit. Once you've worked in the bar club for several years and you realize like, wow, I'm making good money, but I also wasted a lot of money and I have nothing to show for it. This category, they start thinking about budgeting their money a little bit better you know starting to get things that they do have to show for it they're just getting more older and more mature and then this category you know the experienced veteran girls they've already been through these categories money could be harder to come by like i said lady drinks bar fine tip money they could be making less money in this category. They, they can still make good money in the bar business, but these categories are making more money. But this category is obviously going to be smarter when it comes to party party. They're going to slow down a little bit. Their kids are getting older. You know, they've already partied. They're partied out. They're starting to slow down. Now, they can pick and choose their party. Special occasions, holidays, birthdays. They know how to drink and have fun. They're just going to be pick and choose their place and time a little bit better versus every night, every other night, party, party. Travel. Baby dolls. Baby dolls. There are some big baller, big spender, high rollers, foreigners, veterans, Westerners. They roll into the Philippines, Angeles City. They have money, they're on holiday vacation, they could be here for one month, two months, but they walk up and down walking street, bar hopping, they find themselves a baby doll, they can bar find her, they can steady bar find her for maybe one week, and they can go on either domestic travel, these girls have been to Boracay, Puerto Galera, Civic Bay, Palawan, Baguio City, Manila, Makati. These baby dolls are going with foreigners to travel. They have traveled all over the Philippines. I've met girls, they've been to Boracay half a dozen times. Now, some of these girls, if they have a passport, they are going to Thailand, Vietnam, Japan. They are doing international travel. They are latching onto a foreigner Westerner. They get an airline ticket and they are going. Barbie dolls, you know, they've already traveled domestically, international travel, experienced vets. These girls, they've they've been to 
America, Canada, Australia, Japan, they have traveled all over. So travel starts early and it's just their whole bar girl career, profession, working in the bars. They are going to travel, especially if you're an attractive Filipina girl. House investment future. These girls don't realize that they're making really, really good money, but they're not thinking so much about a house or investment or future. They're thinking about now, let's have fun. Let's hang out with other girls, bar girls, customers. Let's learn the business. Here, these girls are starting to build a house in the province. They're buying a motorbike for their brother, cousin. They're buying a tricycle. Start maybe a family business. They are starting to think about investment and future because they're getting older. They're more mature. They know they don't want to keep working in the bar forever. They probably want to weigh out. And the experienced vets, they should have a house by now and investments and money. They should know how to budget their money at this point in their career. 30, 39 plus years old. Some of these girls are just going to keep working in the bars until well into their 40s. Some of these girls in their 30s, they want out. So they're going to make as much money as possible. Maybe they already have a house and they could bounce to another career or profession. Social media. These baby dolls, they love TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all kinds of social media. They dance, they sing, they make videos, they make shorts, they make reels. They have social media, they love it. They think they are models. They think they are just <laughs> beautiful, young, sexy baby dolls, but they love their phones. They love posting sexy pictures, whether it's in a swimsuit, bikini, lingerie, they're posing on a bed, but these baby dolls love it. They love the attention. Barbie dolls, they can still be on TikTok and dancing and having fun, but it's starting to slow down. They're taking care of their kids and family. And they're in the 765 on the hot scale. I don't know too many Filipina girls in this category that's, you know, maybe a few of them still have TikTok and they think they're all that in a bag of chips, but. Like I said, these girls are going to have kids, family. Maybe they've already been there, done that, marriage, divorce. Their bodies are not like it once was. So I think social media starts slowing down as you get older. Money. Money, money, money. These girls could make a lot of money in the bar business versus if you work in the grocery store call center, retail, shopping malls, bank, financial institutions, realty, pharmacy, optometry, medical, dental health. These girls that work in the bar can make a lot of money in the bar business. These girls work KTV bars, casinos, waitresses, dancers, door girls, hostesses. They're making a lot of money. It's just a matter of how long these girls stay in the bar girl categories before they bounce and get on. You can only hope that bar girls are being smart with their money. All right, guys, this is Professor Ace. I hope this was a fun, informative video. Don't take it too seriously. It's just my take and it's all just for entertainment and fun. This is Ace Patcher Cool. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you subscribers and viewers and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.